Ta-da! Hello besties, welcome or welcome back. For those of you who are not new, you know, you know who it be, what it is, what it, what it been do. But for those of you who are new, hi, I'm Larissa, nice to meet you. <laughs> We're opening packages today. Let's make coffee while I explain myself, shall we? Follow me into the kitchen. What am I doing? Coffee, right. Did I already have coffee today? Yes. You guys know me. You guys know who I am. And if you don't know, I'm Larissa and I'm 99% caffeine. As a lot of you know, I have a TikTok, Larry Reads. And on the TikTok, I constantly open Amazon packages, right? <laughs> However, lately TikTok has decided to play games with me and delete the... Oh, oh. all right. <laughs> and delete the videos I've been posting. So I slowed down on the package opening because I was like, oh my God, I don't wanna get banned, you know? So in the meantime, while I've been slowing down, I've opened packages anyway, I just haven't posted it. So I have like six drafts that I haven't posted yet on there of me opening book mail. So because of that, I decided to just wait and like accumulate some more mail and then open it on YouTube instead. Still gonna post those drafts, obviously, on TikTok. I'm just posting them slowly. And I'm still gonna keep opening mail on there too. I'm just also gonna open mail here. A big reason why I'm doing this is also because um, I like to talk a lot and three minutes is simply not enough time for me to open the packages and talk about what I wanna say. So basically, I let myself get to like about 15 or so packages and then decided to make this video where I just open all of them with you. I'll just post like a little clip of it on TikTok so you guys can still see it on there, but this is like the big haul, you know? So that's essentially it. And essentially the reason why if you sent me anything, you haven't seen it on my page yet. It's just because TikTok has been playing games. Ice time. You sent me something and you're wondering if I got it, when I'm gonna open it, all that jazz. Don't worry. If you send me anything from my Amazon wish list or to my PO box, I will always open it on camera unless you specifically like tell me in the note not to. Don't worry. It's always coming. I'm always gonna post about it. It's just either gonna be on TikTok or I'm just gonna do a big haul on here. Another thing, a lot of you have been asking where the reading vlogs are. <laughs> Let me explain myself. As you saw, I did reading vlogs for all of Off Campus. And then a lot of you are asking me if I've read Briar U because I only did The Chase. I've read Briar U. I read all of them when I was filming and I filmed all of them. However, I'm having a little trouble with the risk. The play and the dare are fine, but I'm having trouble with the risk because it got corrupt the clip, which essentially just means I have to go back and like go through and see which part of the clip got corrupt. A bunch of computer shit that takes a really long time. So that's been the trouble with that for me. And I've been doing a lot of other things too, a lot of other editing on top of everything else. It's just taken me a minute. So I'm so sorry that it's taking long. It'll come. Just wanted to once again, explain myself because I always want you guys to like know what's up. You know, I don't want you to have any questions. Anyways, coffee done let's sit in our spot shall we and open some mail i'm so excited these are all packages that i got from my amazon wish list and p.o box for the last couple weeks once again if you sent me something and you don't see it on here it's probably because i already opened it and it's in the drafts for tiktok or it's probably just because it hasn't gotten to me yet i just wanted to say a huge thank you before i even start this to every single person that sends me anything from my wish list anything to my p.o box i no words, no words. I love you. Oh my God, this is so good. I can't. It's my third coffee of the day. Have I even eaten anything? I plead the fifth on that one. Let's open the box first, should we? I feel like the box will be fine. Also, let me know if you like this kind of... <laughs> Let me stop swinging the knife around. Fun fact, one of my videos on TikTok literally got taken down because I used this knife. I mean, it got put back because I complained, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> so let me put it down. I feel like I'm like threatening you. Haha. Ooh. Hey Larissa, this is my little debut mystery. I hope you enjoy it from Catherine H. Ambrose. Ambrose, that reminds me of um, the guy from <laughs> Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. A new debut novel. Oh, I see. This is written by her. Oh, that makes... Why did I... <laughs> Why didn't I understand that? What's on true crime tonight? A mystery story. But can time become a clue? Okay. What do you mean? Kind of reminds me of Fahrenheit. Uh, whatever the hell the name is. <laughs> Doesn't it? Like the cover. Oh, the dedication for my family. Dominic Toretto would be proud. My name is Ariadne Foster. What you're about to read is all true and occurred during the first three weeks of the pandemic. Ooh, names, critical personal details, and locations have been changed to protect the privacy of the survivors and protagonists. Excuse me? Thank you so much, Catherine Ambrose, for sending me your novel. I'm very excited to read it. Let's see what you got, you know? I'll tell you if it's bad. I'm <laughs> If it's bad, it probably just won't say anything. <laughs> let's do this one. Wait, let's sip some coffee before the next one. People that don't drink coffee 
I don't trust it. Note, note, note. Hi, Larry, I love you so much. I love your energy and you are so sweet. I haven't read this yet, but I've heard nothing but good things. I want your opinion as well. Ooh, her TikTok is at Zara Joanne Gay. Thank you so much, Zara. Would it be, would it be? Tell me. I came in plastic. What is this? Oh, fix her up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're right. I also have heard nothing but good things. I'm Amazon extra wrapping this. They said we're gonna be safe today. Okay, okay. Also, in case you guys are wondering, the notes are my favorite part of getting these books. And I usually just, I just tape it to the front. Oh, hello. I just tape it to the front of the books that you guys get me because I wanna remember who got it for me, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zara. First of all, love your name. One of my favorite main characters, her name is Zara from The Fine Prince. So love your name. Thank you so, so much. I adored It Happened One Summer in Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. So I'm really excited for this one because people say it is amazing. It's part of the Hot and Hammered series by Tessa Bailey. I know that it goes fix her up, love her or lose her, and tools of engagement. So I'm so excited to read this. Look at the cover. I love cartoon covers. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Do you guys like when I read out loud to you? Or is that annoying? Because I was going to read the back. I don't know if you're going to be annoyed at me. If you're annoyed, just skip this. Georgette Castles. Her name's Georgette. <laughs> Georgette. That's kind of funny. I didn't expect that. Uh, Georgette Castles family runs the best home renovation business in town, but she picked balloons instead of blueprints. And no one has taken her seriously since. Oh, I like that. Georgie loves planning children's birthday parties and making people laugh, just not at her own expense. She's determined to fix herself up. <laughs> Living her best life means facing the truth. Georgie hasn't been on a date since, well, ever. Nobody's asking out the town clown for a night of hot sex. Oh wait, she's a clown? Hello, miss. What do you mean? She plans children's birthday parties and makes people laugh. Does that mean she's like a party planner for kids or is she the actual clown at the parties? <laughs> Can't wait to find out. And who better to help demolish that image than the resident sports star and tabloid favorite? Oh, oh y'all. Oh. I want to start this now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. Thank you so much, Zara. I am so, so excited and I love you. Next. Here we go. And actually, the way I opened that was hella dangerous. Can't wait until you read this series. Addicted. Stop it right now. Every single time that I see the word addicted or Callaway sisters, I want to like tear up because that's my favorite series in the entire world. You guys know I've been vlogging it. Um, you guys are going to see my love just if you're ever wondering what series you should read, what's my favorite series of all time, Addicted slash Calorie Sisters. Also, adore the Raven Hood trilogy. That's just thrown out there for you. I can't wait until you read these series, this series. Addicted slash Calorie Sisters are my faves, and these just add on to the wonderful world. Thank you for being my fave book talker from Samantha. It's at Walking Library. Thank you so much, Samantha. Samantha? No, Samantha. You guys watch Frozen too? Okay. Anyway, I have all 10 of the first books, but I don't have the Like Us series, and I don't have um, the Bad Reputation duet. So I'm guessing it's one of those. Let's see. Yep, Like Us. Ah, which one is this? Damage Like Us. This is book number one. <gasps> Love that for you, for getting it for me in order. Amazing. Oh, I'm excited. Damage Like Us. Don't date your bodyguard. It was the one rule he had to break. <laughs> I love me some bodyguard romance. <laughs> Twisted Games has made me adore like the bodyguard trope. Ooh wee, I'm excited. Wait, in the front it says the hails, the cobalts, the meadows, the security team. Am I gonna cry right now? I'm like, I've been so emotional lately, you guys. <laughs> you cannot do this to me. You cannot say their names. <gasps> the hails. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> I am so excited to read this. Bodyguard romance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! <laughs> yes, 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 100% yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much, Samantha. I adore you, I adore you. Thank you so much. I don't open this. This is from a publisher. Would it be, would it be? Tell me, tell me, tell me. That will be just fine. It opened from the top and I was cutting it in. Wow. A fool is what I am. A fool. King of, hello, Korea? Korea? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it comes with a sticker. I love stickers. I'm going to put it somewhere. Who is this man? There is a man here. Oh wait, so this is a new book. Oh, it's a signed advanced reader's copy. Love that for me. Welcome to Korea. Oh, welcome to Korea. I like the way that sounds. Oh, wow. She came here for protection, but that's the last thing she's going to find. Oh, 
Love that for her. Not at Corium University, where the most dangerous criminals in the world send their offsprings, assassins, mafia leaders, arm dealers, and art thieves. You name it, this college houses them. Within these walls, nothing can touch them. Upon arriving, I knew Aspen would be here. She was the daughter of our enemy, a snake in the grass like her father. I had no intentions of sparring with her. That is, until she opened her pretty little mouth. Three words and she became my next target. I would do anything to see her on her knees. <laughs> okay, say less. If she thought the university was the only nightmare she would have to face, she was wrong. I was the king and this was my kingdom. Y'all, this looks good. What? I'm excited. When does it come out? I need to know. These are details I must know. It comes out October 29th. I will read it and I will get back to you and tell you if it is worth your time. <laughs> I don't like the way I'm saying things. Like I say things so aggressively, but that's just who I am. Never take me too seriously. You know what I mean? Take me like 70% as a joke. I'm excited to read this. It looks really, really good. Thank you so much for sending me the art. <laughs> Next up, Shade. Larissa, your content always makes me smile or laugh, even on my hardest days. Thank you for all you do for this book talk community. I've seen this book on book talk and have been super interested in joy from uh, her at name is Amanda period and period books. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love this note. Thank you for all you do for this book talk community. Y'all, y'all, my shed more tears. I'm very emotional as I said. Now what book is it? Shall we find out? Shut the fuck up. Shut up right now. Shut your mouth. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. This is one of my favorite books, but I read it on my Kindle and I didn't have the physical copy. This book is so good. You said that you wanted to see, uh, you've been super interested. Please read it, please read it. Read this book, look at me, look at me. Are you seeing me? Read this book, read this book right now. Let me show you really quick, hold on, be right back. Give me a sec. Oh my God, my leg fell asleep, y'all, oh, oh my God. Oh no, you know when your leg falls asleep? Okay, now be right back. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> I talk about this all the time, so a lot of you know, but I adore a lot of authors, but my favorite one, number one, will always be Mariana Zapata. The only paperback I did not have by Mariana was All Roads Lead Here. So Amanda, you have just fully completed my collection and I am so happy. I'm gonna make a full video on Mariana Zapata soon. Ta -da! <laughs> Look how beautiful this looks. <gasps> You guys, and MZ books are expensive, right? Like they are expensive. I've been collecting these for a really long time in case you're wondering, that's how I have them all. Oh my God, this is every single book she's ever written. Like, <laughs> I love this woman with all my heart. Like I love anything she writes. And now Amanda, you have just completed my collection. Thank you so, so much. I love this book. I love Rhodes. I love this book. Yes, yes. I am so happy right now. Like I wanna die. <laughs> and by I wanna die, I mean like in a good way. Oh, it even got hot in here. I can't believe my collection's complete. What is that song that says that? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? La 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 la, doo 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 doo. Looking around here, you see. Sure. I've got everything. What is it? You've got a Little Mermaid. Right, exactly. Little Mermaid. Where was I going with this? Let's do this one. For all of the people that are constantly wondering if I rip the books when I do that, no, y'all. I like feel where the book is and then I, I rip the top. I'm not a fool. This isn't any tomfoolery. Where's the note? Hi Larissa, I wanted to give back to you with something that gives you joy because you give me joy in my life. <sighs> Am I gonna cry again? You guys with these notes. I love you. I know it doesn't look like you made me happy, but you did, I promise. <laughs> Thank you for always being so happy and funny. It goes a long way in someone's day. I hope you enjoy from Natalie's Reads. I love you. I love you. I adore you. I'm so happy that I can make you happy and you guys constantly make me happy. Don't think that you don't because you do. Just by being here, just by commenting, just by watching it. I love you, I love you, I love you. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. You guys are chef's kiss. That's what I was trying to go for. Would you get me Natalie? What do you think? Hello? <gasps> Forever Wild! Okay, so I just got The Simple Wild not too long ago, right? And I didn't know that it was a trilogy. Like, I didn't know there were two books and then a novella. I didn't know that. So I was like, oh, I can't start it until I have all three. And now Natalie said, here's one. <laughs> I love you. Forever Wild, a novella. This looks so pretty. Look at the cover. And I want to read this uh, little trilogy during the fall because it just gives me fall energy. Like, look. And I heard amazing things. Amazing things. So I'm so, so excited. Thank you so much, Natalie. I love you. The fact that, like, me being happy 
spread some joy into your life just spreads joy back to me. So you see what we're doing here? We're just a big cycle of joy. I love this for us. I love this community. I love the shoddy base. I <laughs> thank you so much, Natalie. Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? This one. Wait, I haven't had coffee in a while. Girl who has everything. La 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 la. Aha. I hope you enjoyed this book. I just read it and I loved it. I hope you do too. I love watching your videos as well. Whatever you recommend, I trust you. And I go out and buy the book. <laughs> From Michaela. Her at name is like a little face and then sunflower, like the little face and then <laughs> and then sunflower. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love, 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 love that you guys trust my opinion and that when I tell you a book is good, you guys go buy it. That's my favorite thing in the entire world. <laughs> Would it be? Oh my! Did you guys or did you not plan this? Because Miss Zara got me Fix Her Up, which is the first book in the Hot and Hammered series. And now Miss Michaela got me Lose Her or Lo Love Her or Lose Her. Love Her or Lose Her, which is the second one. I love this. I love this. The third one is what? Tools of Engagement. So this one's the first one, this one's the second one, and then Tools of Engagement, I think. So what's this one about? Let's read the back. Probably talking a lot in this video. I apologize, you guys. If you want to, like, skip around, I allow it. I allow it. Rosie and Dominic. Sorry, I'm a little sensitive of something that happened recently with, with a book character whose name is Dominic. Okay. Anyway, Rosie and Dominic Vega are the perfect couple. High school sweethearts, best friends, and madly in love. Oh, no. That sounds so good to be true. Well, they used to be anyway. Hmm, that's what I thought. Now Rosie's lucky to get a caveman grunt from the ex-soldier every time she walks in the door. Three words, marriage boot camp. Never in a billion years did Rosie believe her stoic, too manly to emote husband would actually agree to a relationship rehab with a weed smoking hippie. Love that for you. Dom talking about feelings, sitting on pillows, communicating with nature, learning love languages. Nope. But to Rose's surprise, he's all in. And it forces her to admit her own role in their cracked foundation. As the two complete one ridiculous yet surprisingly helpful assignment after another, their remodeled relationship gets stronger than ever. Except just as they're getting back on track, Rosie discovers Dom has a secret and it could demolish everything. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to read this series. I feel like it's gonna be amazing. Why am I holding the book like that? That looks hella weird. Anyway, ah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Michaela. Okay, let's do one of the big ones. Let's do this one. I don't even think I need the knife to open this one, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Where's the note? There's no note in here, you guys. Y'all, there's no note. SOS, there's just a receipt. Who got me this? Which one of you didn't leave a note? Did Amazon lose the note or did you guys just not leave a note? I'm gonna need someone to explain themselves. It doesn't even say who sent it. Oh my goodness. Well, here are the books, you guys. And just, it just does not have a note, which upsets me deeply. Broken Prince. Wait, this looks like the Royals thing that I have. Yeah, these Royals will ruin you. Oh, the Royals, book two. Okay, so maybe the same person that got me book one got me book two. Did you or did you not? Explain yourself. <laughs> I have book one of the Royal series. And I heard that it's really good. It looks beautiful. It's like a gold cover. Um, I would get up to go get it because it's right there staring at me in the face. But like, do I want to do that? No, not really. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you that I have it and you believe me, okay? The sequel to Paper Princess. Yeah, Paper Princess is the first one. And then Broken Prince is the second one. These covers are so beautiful. I'm excited to read these series. A lot of you told me that it's so good. And then this one is the Bromance Book Club, which I've seen. I don't know what it's about, so I'm excited. Let's see. The first rule of book club, you don't talk about book club. What? What is this? Is it a book club or is it a book gang? You know what I mean? Nashville legend, second baseman Gavin Scott's marriage is in major league trouble. He's recently discovered a humiliating secret. His wife, Thea, has always faked the big O. Oh my God. This went in a different direction. I expected it, I'm not gonna lie. This cover fooled me. When he loses his school at the revelation, it's the final straw on their already strained relationship. Thea asks for divorce and Gavin realizes he's let his pride and fear get the better of him. Distraught and desperate, Gavin finds help from an unlikely source, a secret romance book club made up of Nashville's top alpha men. Hot men reading books. <laughs> don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. Oh, I love that. Ah, I'm really excited to read this and I'm really excited to start this series in general, the, the Royals series. I wanna know who sent it to me though. Hey, if you sent these, who you be? Next one. Hi Larissa, at Chloe's Life Library on TikTok. I love having you as my book bestie. This is my first published copy of my new book. Oh, it's a romance, say less, smut novel, 
really say less. And I hope you love it from Chloe Worley. Ah! We have been doing this for so long that my camera battery is going to die and I'm going to have to get the other one. So I'm going to have to get up after all. Chloe Worley, thank you so much. Let's see what your debut novel is. Also, I love having you as a book bestie. I love having book besties all around. Roped in. Cowboy? Hello? This man is shirtless. Stop it. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. He's shirtless. There's a playlist. Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran. Love that song. My bad habits lead to late nights. Nicki Minaj. Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas again. You like Nick Jonas, Chloe? Uh, <laughs> I like Nick Jonas too. Waitress! Stop looking at this man, you guys. Stop it. I'm very excited. Thank you so much, Chloe. Bad habits lead to late nights. Oh, that one didn't fall. That one flew. You get that Miles Archer reference, anyone? Okay. <laughs> this is so much fun. Are we having fun? I'm having fun. Ow! Ow! I just broke my meal! Okay, well, there's no note in this one either. Oh my god. What is it? Getaway Girl by Tessa Bailey. I've never seen this before. And Vicious! Okay, hold on. Let me talk about this for a second. Vicious, I don't know anything about, except people really love it. I know that it's like the Sinners of Saint series. And then after that, it's All Saints High, I guess. It's like both of those series combined. I don't know anything about it, but I'm so excited. He's bad news wrapped in a good suit. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, please. Why are you shirtless? I just do not understand. I just don't understand why people put shirtless men in their cover. Why you do that? Amelia and Vicious. Wait, is his name actually Vicious? Like, that's your name, sir? No. That's your nickname, right? Your name is Vicious. Your name is Vicious. You're lying. You're lying to me. You're lying to my face. There's a soundtrack though. Ooh wee. Only wanna do bad things to you. I think his name is actually Vicious. Well, that's interesting. And then, hold on. Getaway Girl by Tessa Bailey. I've never heard of this. Here's the thing. Nobody left a note. Y'all just playing with my emotions left to right. This unlikely getaway driver never expected to help the mayor escape. After a six year absence, Addison Potts is back in Charleston to stir things up. And what better place to make her villainous return than her estranged cousin's wedding? What? Only the nuptials hit a snag when the bride doesn't show, leaving Addison to play getaway driver for the jilted groom. <gasps> a getaway girl. I enjoy most of Tessa Bailey's books, so I'm really excited to see this, but I had never seen like this book anywhere. But I am really, really excited. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, I adore you, thank you. Same with the Bromance Book Club and the second Royals book. Thank you so much, I adore you and I love you. Sometimes I like when you guys don't tell me who you are, it's like a little mystery, I'm like, who was it? But at the same time, I'm like, I wanna thank you with your name. But just know, just know that I love you. Love you. Almost done, besties, look. Here we go. Oh yeah. Wait, Michaela again? <gasps> Michaela, I love watching your videos and make my day. When I saw this on your wish list, I had to get it for you. Enjoy. Michaela. Let's see which one you got me now, Michaela. I'm so excited. What is it? <gasps> Wait, the way this is all coming full circle. Hold on. Because Miss Samantha got me Damaged Like Us, which is the first book in the Like Us series. And now Miss Michaela got me Alphas Like Us, which is the third book in the Like Us series. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Which one is this? Another bodyguard. Wait, so I think I think these are all bodyguard romances. Oh my god, I'm so excited. The hills, the cobalt, the meadow. Let me cry again reading the same thing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Michaela, hey. Hey, Michaela, look at me. I love you. I love you. I love you. I may lose my mind. It's just that you guys know how much I adore the Addicted Slash Callaway Sister series and it's my favorite. Getting me the Like Us series means a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Besties, the way it's been like 30 minutes and it got dark outside because I stopped filming this because <laughs> look what arrived at my house. <laughs> Reminders of him. Colleen Hoover, it is coming out January 18th of 2022. And I got the art, thank you so much to the publishing company. Thank you so much, Colleen. Be right back while I die. Look how beautiful it is. Anyway, you guys, go pre-order Reminders of Him. It comes out January 18th of 2022. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much. Anyways, okay, moving on. You know what this is? This was in my PO box, so let's see. <gasps> Wait, there's a postcard. 
This is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Sorry, there's a long note. I'm obsessed. Hello, my bestie. I wanted to send one of my favorite P. Douglas books. I love Penelope Douglas. Along with some tabs like I've done with my own copy. The colors don't mean anything. LOL. I hope you love Kai and Banks. Devil's Night is one of my favorite series. I'm excited. I haven't read it yet. Thank you for always making me laugh with your TikToks and YouTube videos. Perla. Her TikTok is Perla Ramirez. Her Instagram is uh, Pearls Reads. And she says, P.S. This postcard reminded me of Rose, Daisy, and Lily. That's going to actually make me cry. This is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Like, sending an actual postcard, like, with my name on it and, like, an actual thing written. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, like, wrapped up and everything. Oh, my God. You not only sent me your favorite Penelope Douglas book, but you tabbed it. Shut up. Shut up up it's tabbed perla literally tabbed this book i don't think i've ever been so shocked in my entire life oh my god <laughs> this is the cutest thing i've ever seen you did not you did not thank you so 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 much perla like i can't believe you even thought about sending me anything let alone your favorite book with a postcard with something written on it a postcard that reminded you of Daisy, Lily, and Rose, which you know I love. And then you tapped the book. I'm sorry. I'm so happy right now. This was the cutest thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you so, so much. I can't even explain to you how happy this makes me. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You just Jess Mariano'd me. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <gasps> oh my God. I love you, Perla. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for this. Sincerely, I have no words to describe how obsessed I am with this. Thank you. Oh my God. Last three package, Bessie. I'm getting too emotional. Like we got to finish this up because... Oh my God. Hi, Bessie. I love your content. And you always put a smile on my face, so I had to send you something. I just started this and I love it already. Anyways, thank you for being you from Destiny. <laughs> Her at is she is still reading. Wait, I love that. She is still reading. She has never stopped. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Dirty. Dirty letters. Okay. Destiny, let me talk to you real quick. I literally was thinking, I was like, I need this book because people say that it reminds them of Punk 57. Punk 57 is a book I love, right? And people say it reminds them of that. Oh my God. In the back even has like a letter. <gasps> I'd never forgotten him. A man I'm yet to meet. Get out of town. And the reason why I put this on my list actually is because Penelope Ward, right? I read Room Hate by her and I adored it. So I feel like I should read more of her book. Thank you. Thank you so much, Destiny. I'm glad you're liking it. Obviously by this point, you probably already finished it. So let me know what you thought. I'm very excited to read this. Thank you so, so much. I love you. Thank you. It's taken me so long to do all of this that it's literally dark outside. Here's just another book from the series. Happy reading, Larry. I love you. Thank you for helping me discover my love for romance books. Helping people discover romance books. Helping people discover Mariana as a Potter calling over like, those are some of my favorite things ever. I'm obsessed. Thank you for sending me this. Thank you for existing. And it is Zara. P.S. I also sent Fix Her Up. Zara is the one that sent Fix Her Up. And now Zara also sent tools of engagement so please hold y'all while i show you that i've got fix her up which is the first one love or a loser second one and tools of engagement third one what are the odds that all three would literally come together <laughs> okay so now i need to start the series obviously immediately immediately zara Thank you. Thank you for this. I am so excited to start this series. Zara. I told you that one of my favorite characters is named Zara, right? Thank you so much. We're on to the last package, besties. Here we go. Last one. Last one. Hi, Larissa. I love this book so much and hope you do too. Thank you for being my favorite book talker in book two. We're lots of love from New Zealand. Please come visit someday. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> um, love, Maria. Oh, it's Maria. Now I must go to New Zealand. I will write it down on my to-do list. <laughs> go to New Zealand. Right under um, make enough money to go to New Zealand. All right, go to New Zealand. How about that? <laughs> Which one is it? Most of all you. My God. Most of all you. Besties. Besties. Okay. One of my favorite books of all time, all time, is Archer's Voice. And it is by Mia Sheridan. So that's why I was like, okay, let me branch out and see some other stuff she's got because Archer's voice means everything to me. So most of all, you also by her. I'm so excited. And now Maria says that she loved this book. So I trust it with my entire chest. <laughs>
a broken woman, a man in need of help. Only love can mend a shattered heart. Crystal and Gabriel. Oh, I love those names. The Crystal and Gabriel. Yes, please. <laughs> it looks like it's going to hurt me, but like in the best way. Oh, I'm so excited. Maria, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have no words j just to show you how much I am thankful for this. Like, I can't even speak. I have no words. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Can't wait for my new bookshelf to arrive and now I can just organize all of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I adore you besties. I hope you guys had fun opening Amazon packages with me. Like I said, I will still keep doing some of them on TikTok. I needed to slow them down a little bit just because TikTok was taking some of them down and I wasn't having enough time to like thank you properly because I only have three minutes. I switched it to here, but I will open some here, some on TikTok. Just follow me on both accounts. Just know that whatever you guys send me will always be opened on camera camera unless you tell me not to so it'll always be posted either on tiktok or on here thank you so much let me know if you liked this i i have no words i honestly thank you thank you i love you i love you besties